Hello everyone and welcome back. On today's video, I show you how I made these adorable little beehives for a sweet baby to be baby shower. I am just loving how they turned out. I didn't expect them to come out so cute. And of course, with items mostly purchased at the Dollar Tree. I gotta plug that one in there guys because that's, you know, our favorite store. So if you're still interested, please continue watching. Hello everyone, my name is Mari Dominguez, and if you're new to my channel, welcome to A Little Bit of Everything, where I share with you easy DIYs, recipes, and a little bit more. So please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. With that being said, let's begin! Alrighty guys, so for today's video we're going to be needing the following items. I have here from the Dollar Tree a black poster board, some acrylic black paint, three different sizes, one is not shown, of these planters, this buffalo chuck ribbon, but you can use your choice of ribbon. Also these Dollar Tree florals, I have two gerbana clips and some little, um, what are they called, daisies? I don't know. A pair of scissors a sharpie pen and these awesome cute little bumblebees I got at um on Amazon they're felt bumblebees and also not shown here but we will be needing a lot is nautical rope hot glue gun and glue sticks so let's continue on with this video alrighty guys so just wanted to show you that off camera I cut little circles on the foam board measuring the diameter of the planters okay so we're gonna take the smallest one right now we're gonna what we're gonna do is I want to hot glue that foam board right onto the planter to make like a base as you can see here, see, make like a base. Get that nice and centered there. And from there, I have the window to go up and continue hot gluing the nautical rope, which I didn't get to post prior to the video, but here you have it guys, the nautical rope. Now this one is the, nine and a half feet you see that there yeah the nine and a half foot so i'm thinking that this one will probably take a little bit more than half of it i did off camera i did one of these planters it took one and a half um one and a half rolls of the nautical rope but the one i had prior to this one was the 13 foot that the Dollar Tree carries but when I went looking for some more they didn't have it so I had to get this one the nine and a half feet one so we're just gonna do a little bit here on the ends oh guys you know what I have that I have to use now and I keep on forgetting because you always forget that you have to use this and it's these little um silicone rubbers from when you're working on uh hot glue yeah. okay alrighty so now with that being said let's continue gluing on here all right so I'm gonna start gluing the ribbon the nautical rope and when you're gluing this and you're gonna go to your next row. You gotta glue it as close to the to the row as possible, so you do not see any of the glue or of the pot, the planter, the little flower pot planter. 
you know what I mean okay and I'm doing these for a baby shower so it's gonna be a, a sweet baby bee or how do, you, how do we call it baby to be or baby bee I don't know so, okay so here I'm going on to the second row like I was saying so what we got to do is we got to make sure that we glue it as close to that one as possible so that you don't see you see you don't see the pot and you don't see any empty spaces in between there so yeah and I don't want to bore you with going all the way up here so I'm gonna pause the video for a second and we'll be back Hi guys, as you can see, I'm halfway up the little planter, but I forgot to add the little loop for the top, which I already have it ready. You see, like the little loop, and we're just gonna glue that up here on the top. And then we're just gonna make sure that when we reach the top of the planter with the nautical rope, we cover this very well here. So you really can't see that this was, you know, attached to the top. Just wanted to show you that you see it's a little loop there and we're continuing here with our little circles now in hindsight if i would have realized that because of the lip that this little planter has um the rope wasn't gonna touch the planter i wouldn't probably have not done it but anyway i'm not gonna tear it up now to uh redo so we're just continuing on here with our little circular motions here um, creating our little beehives beehives i thought they're so cute and just for a baby shower i thought it was such a sweet idea so making these these are going to be like the centerpieces for the, uh, the cake table and I'm guessing the goodie table, whatever the mommy wants. So, as we get closer to the top, this is pretty much what's left of the nine and a half, nine and a half foot rope, nautical rope, so I might, I'm not sure, I might have to open up another one. Like I said, on the other planters that I made the beehives with, I had the 13 and a half feet nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, but this time I only found the nine and a half foot one, so that's the one we're using right now. And these little silicone um, finger covers are so good because hello I'm not burning my fingers like I normally do and they're three for a pack at Dollar Tree yes I have to plug in Dollar Tree that is my one of my favorite stores to shop at who can relate I just think it's amazing it's an awesome store Now, as I said, guys, we were going to have to open up another ribbon. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down to, at an angle. Let me get the proper scissors here. Hold on. We're going to cut it down at an angle so that they can look like they're attached together. And it'll give it a more finished look. Alrighty, so let's continue to glue this one here and we're almost at the top guys we're almost at the top okay and as you can see here is the one that we're going to be blending in with the other one or attaching with the other one so make sure that we put some glue on there so it doesn't fray it doesn't come apart 
right, same thing here. And glue it on here with the other one and give it a more finished look. Now, let's go back here with the hot tip of the glue gun to get like these little blobs glued in together as you can see glued down shall I say and there it is you have that pretty much I mean it doesn't look perfect guys I'm not an expert here I'm just showing you as I learn as I go along I share with you what I learn and I have fun doing it I have fun doing it guys I love sharing ideas or recreating ideas that I've seen in other places and you know, I don't know who came up with the idea of using Dollar Tree planters to create little beehives but whoever did it kudos to you because OMG talk about thinking outside the box it's just so cute alrighty so we're almost at the top here so we can um Close it in here. Definitely, you have to glue somewhat on the, in the inside, right? So that it, um, you're creating that little cone effect up on top. And looks like we might be using half of this one, half of this ninety nine and a half foot Dollar Tree rope nautical rope all right i mean yeah it's more it'll be more cost effective if you could go to like hobby lobby and you buy a big roll when you use a 50 percent off coupon i've done that before and you obviously get way more for or how how do they say you get more bang for your buck yeah definitely okay guys so we're almost at the top here give me a minute guys Alrighty guys, we've reached the top. We have reached the top. Now this little planter, this little beehive is gonna be bigger than I expected because of the boo-boo I made regarding the lip of the planter, but we learn as we go along, guys. This is a learning process for me. And uh, yeah. And I thought I had paused the video, but I didn't. So you guys saw pretty much everything being done here. But you see now we're hiding, we're hiding the little ribbon and the little hole up on top with the nautical rope. And we're just going to stick it into the center here. You see into the little center there to cover that hole up. And we will be done there, guys. And here we have it. Our cute little... They call them skeps. I didn't know that. I just found that out. These are called skeps. 
I call them a beehive. So it's a little bit discombobulated to me, but like I said, I made a boo boo. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look for the side that looks best, obviously. And um, you see where your rib, your loop is facing, like either front or back. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a Sharpie pen and we're going to get a, a little piece of the nautical rope and we're going to make a little circle. And make a little circle. I have to glue that down together. Okay, guys, we're going to make a little circle just like that. And we're going to, we're going to make like a little entrance for the beehive gonna be a little entrance for the beehive. And the reason why we're hot gluing this down a little circle because I don't want to glue it onto just yet onto the beehive. I don't want to glue it just yet. All right, just want to make a little circle like so. And then right now we're gonna use it to frame out that's what we're using the Sharpie pen for. We're going to make our little circle. We're going to make our little circle in the inside of the circle. The circle in the inside of the circle. See? And then we're just going to color that in. Now you can use the Sharpie pen to color it in. You can use acrylic paint. Well, I'm going to use acrylic paint. Okay, guys? So... Ugh. I'm going to use the, acrylic, the black acrylic paint and using a small little paintbrush, we're just painting in the circle like so. And this is the entrance of the beehive, or the skep, how they like to call them also. Now it's okay if you go a little bit out of the line because don't forget you use the inner part of their circle to create the circle line, so it's fine, you see? Yay, we're almost done here, guys, we're almost done. Obviously that has to dry, but I'm going to just glue a little circle onto there. Clean it up some. All right. I'm just gonna glue a little circle on there because let them both dry together. All right, now be careful you don't burn yourself guys, okay? Bring it hot glue, very hot. So cute, isn't that so stinking cute? All right, now, you know what we're gonna do now? <laughs> yeah, cause you know, I'm extra. I bought these adorable little felt bees on Amazon. Aren't they just so cute? So, so, so cute. I'm gonna glue those on there, but also I got this buffalo check ribbon at the Dollar Tree. And we're going to make a little, a little bow for the top. Not too big, not too small, just something Cutesy. Cutesy for the top of it. I'm sorry guys, I'm taking too long here, aren't I? I don't want to take too long, but I won't be making a long video by accident. And I'm sounding kind of whiny too. Sorry. Alright, so 
Like I've told y'all before, I'm not big at, um, look at that, I just made a boo-boo. Ah. Oy, 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 oy. I don't want to bore you with my non-existing bow-making skills, but looks like I wound up doing one in front of you and a boo-boo with that. Okay, so what I do is I just fold it over and then this is wired ribbon, so I take one side of the ribbon out. And I'm going to fold this back over. And then I take that piece of the wire, a piece of the wired ribbon that I just cut, and I just like, you know, loop it in the center here to create like the little bow tie. And twisty it here, cut the ends, push that in, and then here's the little bow tie, guys. What I do now is I just pull out the little uh, ends, pull out the little ends here, and shape my little bow. Like shit, right? You see my little bell? And then I'll just, uh, I'm not gonna fishtail, just gonna cut in a, um, in a little angle the bow, the tails, I mean. And then we're gonna glue it to the top of the loop of the beehive. You could put it in the center, you could put it on the side, however you like. You put this one right smack dab in the center. Alrighty. And then I have these um, little daisies, bunch of daisies from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take one of those with one of the leaves, glue them together, like I, you see here, I did prep that one before, and we're going to stick it right in the middle of the bell. looking like so so far isn't that cute and now here comes the bumblebees I'm gonna put glue one right in the little entrance of the hive the one right there at the entrance and then you just place the other ones wherever you like guys so there's my little beehive what do you think? I think it looks this stinking cute. Oh my God. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for your patience. I thought I had paused the video, but no, it kept on playing. So with that being said, once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and blessings to you all.